Hi guys, I'm Stephen Gotchman, your new home consultant with Simmons Homes. Uh, I'm here today on the online prosperity show. Absolutely great to be on it. And today we're going to be talking about uh, what you should be looking for and how you can start your home building journey um, today or whenever it be as well. So stay tuned guys. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the new home consultant, Stephen Gotchman. Stephen, how are you doing, my man? Very well. I'm very happy to be uh, in this interview with you today and, uh, and to be speaking to everyone that's watching today as well. Fantastic. Now, obviously, if you're watching this show right now, you would understand we always bring to you experts in their own realm. And you could be trying to buy a new home, purchase a new home, or building a new home. And we all know that's a very big investment and an emotional one, uh, so to speak. So it's sensible to spend as much time as you can choosing the one that actually meets your needs and your potentially growing family or your investment portfolio. So you can leave and enjoy the home in the long run. Now, half of the time when we go to a display village, it's all like a factory, it's in and out, and you don't have that much time. And we really want to avoid eye contact with new home consultants. <laughs> but, but, but at the end of the day, that's the reason why we brought in Steven. So he can actually draw back the curtain and explain to you how much you can actually uh, benefit from speaking to one of uh, them at a display home so that you can actually um, end up with a product or a home that you absolutely love and create the memories with your family. Now, Stephen, I could Perfect. go on and You've on. got the right idea, Prosper. It sounds like you've done this before. <laughs> I hate stuff. I could go on and on and talk about how uh, miserable I normally am when I get into a display home and start looking at the furniture and comparing it to my own home and just... <laughs> Just want to leave as soon as I get there. Tell us a little bit about your story, Stephen, and uh, what it is that you actually do at Siemens. So I'm Stephen Gotchman. I'm a new home consultant with Siemens Homes. Um, now, I started this journey about four years ago when I finished my bachelor's degree. I, uh, I came across to Siemens Homes, actually following in my father's footsteps. So when I was a young kid, my father was a new home consultant, just like I am today. Uh, and look, growing up and, and being in the environment and going to construction sites, even going to work with my old man as well and seeing what he does uh, really tailored me for, for this position. And you know, it runs in the family, it runs in the bloodline, I guess. Um, so it really is a true passion for me. It's not just a job. Uh, for me, this is my career. It's, it's my passion. It's my work. It really is a pride, pride and joy for me. And, and doing things like this and being in this interview right now and uh, now commencing this Facebook page as well, which uh, for the people watching this, head over to New Homes with Stephen Gotchman, um, and you can see some more of these videos. Uh, it's uh, it's really a lot of fun. It really is. Uh, so I finished a bachelor's degree in uh, finance and marketing, and at that time when I finished, I was contemplating: do I go become a finance broker, or do I follow my father's footsteps and 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 join the new home building industry? And at that time, there was a vacancy open as a as a sales associate. This is kind of like the assistant position. Um, with, uh, with one of the top performers at Simmons at the time as well in Pakenham. And I jumped over. I, I just started and, and hit the ground running, uh, really enjoyed connecting with clients and, and meeting, greeting people. And well, we've, we've just been growing from there. So now I'm here in Diggers Rest at the, at the display center over here at the Bloomdale Estates. Loving it. It's going really well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for enlightening us with that story and also you know, letting us know that you're um, career and your work is actually part of a legacy that your dad uh, would have wanted to foresee. So that's really good on you, my man. Now, Stephen, half of the time when people um, show up at a display village, um, it's usually an impulse visit. Nobody really plans it. And people just see, um, you know, a, a display village and they're like, oh, let me see uh, what's inside. How do you encourage people to make the most of their visit when they come and see a new build? Yeah, great question. Um, it really is important for people to come in and ask us all the questions that they've got. Um, it is really common for us to see people come in and they say that they're just looking. Uh, and I love that response because that's the truth. Everyone is just here to look at the beginning, but everyone's got an underlying intention of why that they're here. Um, so it, it's, 
it, it's a bit of fun for me sometimes to find out. Oh, there we go. That's one of my latest clients, uh, Billy and Nelson Estate. So we'll put him on uh, the callback list. Call you back, Eric. Um, you've made it into the video, so give us a like. <laughs> um, so that, that answer, just looking, is is more than fine. Um, you're more than welcome to come in and have a look. That's what we're open and that's what we're here for, is for you to get inspired and, and for you to see uh, a vision for yourself and, and for your future. Um, and we're just here to assist that journey, right? So no matter what stage through the, through the journey that you're in, um, I just want to help out and, and see if I can help you get on the right track with what your plans really are. So whether you're 15 years old and really thinking about, you know, in 10 years' time, that's cool. I'll give you a helpful tip or two. Um, and then on the other end of the spectrum as well, if you're retiring and, you know, you've got a relatively empty nest and you want to sort of create a different nest for maybe the grandchildren, um, but also really early stages, that's fine. I'm just here to provide some tips and advice. Um, so we'll always ask a question, an open-ended question, just to discover what kind of solution or, or advice that we can provide. Um, but if, even if it's just a friendly chat or whatever, that's, that's cool as well. Absolutely. Now, um, I mean, obviously you get this question a lot, um, you know, when people come through and, and, and look at a display uh, home, they end up not looking at the floor plans or if the windows are, you know, in the right direction or the, the rooms are actually as spacious as they want based on the furniture right. that's within those rooms. Yeah. Do you ever have people just asking you um, where they can buy the furniture from? Or <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'll, um, I'm, I'm happy to give the plug for our uh, furniture providers a little bit later. Um, but it is a really common question. You've actually got that down right. Um, so a lot of the time people will actually walk, actually walk through the display homes and uh, they get overwhelmed by the, either the, the colors or the furniture or the textures and materials. That's a really common feedback that we get where people say, oh, I loved the colors in there. Um, so so that's, that's all well and sweet. Uh, good to take photos. We've got all our photos online as well. Um, and, and that's part of, uh, of, of getting ready for, for building your own home is to feel inspired. Um, so... Some tips that I give for, for making the most out of your time in the display homes, because really it's, it's, it can be a full-on day. If you take up a Saturday or a Sunday and, and you go to one or two display villages, you've got double-story houses, single-story houses, big ones, small ones, and after a while, between all the volume builders, they just start blending into one another, and you kind of forget what, what each house was, which each, who was the builders that you even went and saw. So my tips is... When you're out there looking for a home that you want to live in or whether it's in for an investment as well, to actually feel the spaces, right? So we've got a 22 square house and a 30 square house on display here at Bloomdale and Diggers Rest. Um, and I advise clients, when you walk through the home, don't just stand in the corner of the entrance of the room and look at it, but also stand into the room, stand next to the bed. You know, use the, the cupboard doors, for example, open the oven, you know, really engage with the house and see if it's a house that you feel comfortable moving in. Does it have the right flow for the way that you like to move? You know, everyone has like a little dance they do in the kitchen when they're cooking. Do that dance, you know, imagine yourself going from the cooktop to the dishwasher to the overhead cupboards, whatever it be, and really feel the house. Obviously, you've taken us into one of the um, houses that you have there Welcome. on your display. Um, tell yes. us, just tell us a little bit about if you would walk into this house, what are the things that you would um, uh, look at in order for you to actually make a concrete decision that this is probably what I need to then talk to a consultant like you about, you know, so that it makes a, a good decision that you're purchasing this home. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So when you're walking into this house, this is our Palisade. It's uh, actually our most popular design. Um, this one catches the eye. It really does. We, we, we call this home the home with a big heart. So here we are. This is the living room. And right next to me, we've got the kitchen. And uh, you can't see it in this video. You'll have to come into the display to actually see it for yourself. But we've got these amazing 12-foot ceilings in here. Um, really nice and vaulted ceilings, uh, and look, that, that, that is a unique feature. So when you're walking through a display home, um, like I was explaining earlier, really the thing you want to feel is the, the flow of the floor plan, right, and, and see the layout, because ultimately that is what you are purchasing. That's the only thing that's not really translatable across the other builders, 
um, for copyright reasons and such. But basically, the floor plan is specific to the builder, right? Um, now, when you're looking at colors and features in the house, like the size of windows and the size of doors, or like kitchen features, like stone bench tops or downlight, whatever it be, uh, these are things that you can add into any house, right? Um, and, and this is what part of the consulting uh, service is about, is when we sit down and we're putting your quote together, um, we'll find out those kind of things of what things you need, what things you want, what things you'd like, um, and, and, and then we, we really make a priority list and go through. But the floor plan is the initial thing that you should be looking at. Even before you go out and buy the block of land, you really want to know what design it is that, that suits your lifestyle and suits you, your family, and whoever it be. Um, then we'll have a look at orientations with north and, and sunlight and see how we can capture natural light. Like in this one, um, it's actually interesting. This one's a south-facing living area, but with the raised ceiling and highlight windows that we've got, um, which you'll see when you come into the display, it gives it a lot of natural light. So these are options that we'll start playing with. But the first thing is the house, the, the, the floor plan. Then we'll look at the block of land, and then let's look at options, right? Um, that's the flow of work that, that you should do. So to make the best use of your time out in the displays, look for the floor plan that suits your lifestyle, then start looking at options later. Absolutely. So obviously this comes down to some sort of research. Would you advise people to get inspiration, um, to have a look through magazines or find out from their friends before they actually go into a display home or should they just come through and discuss all of this with you um, based on the knowledge that you actually have? Look, when you're, when you're ill, you go to a doctor. When you need finance advice, you go to an accountant, right? And when you need to build a house, you go to a new home consultant. Of course, your friends and your family and your work colleagues and your neighbor and the dog, everyone's going to have an opinion, right? And everyone's going to tell you what's best for you. But through my experience in all these years that I've been with Simmons Homes, I've learned that every single customer is completely different. It's kind of like a fingerprint, right? Um, no two customers are ever the same. Everyone's got their own desires, their own lifestyle, their own hobbies, um, whatever it be. Um, and that's what my job is all about, is to create that wholesome solution. Um, so yeah, by all means, get into magazines and you know, listen to what the fad and the trends are these days, what things are going well in homes. Uh, ultimately, it's a, always a, a, changing, uh, a, a changing environment. It's very dynamic. We're constantly upgrading our standard inclusions of things to, to adapt to what people want these days. For example, our wellness inclusion. We're now including smart lighting to help your body and mind align itself with the daylight, uh, to get you ready for sleep and to wake you up softly and not too abruptly. Filtered water and filtered air so air and water purification is all standard in all our Simmons homes now. We're the only builder in the country to be offering that. Um, and that's part of our innovation and adaptation to what people are looking for these days. Everyone wants to be healthy. You'll live a healthier life in a Simmons home. So by all means, that's what my job is, is you come in, you tell me what it is that you're after. We'll engage and, you know, we'll, you know, we'll break the ice a little bit, a couple of jokes, we'll make it a light environment. Um, and then it's all about finding out what solution works out for you. So... I'll ask those open-ended questions, you know, how do you like to live your life? What's your lifestyle like? Um, you know, when are you at home? These sort of things, and, and then we'll discover uh, what floor plan, what options, and things are gonna suit you. For example, I often you know, make light of this topic. If you're tall, let's upgrade the ceilings if you can. Let's make you, let's give you higher doors. And I also think of those builder solutions that your friends may not know. For example, uh, we can increase the ceiling heights just a little bit, but if we increase the internal door heights, it's kind of like this uh, perspective, this kind of optical, not illusion, but it's an optical feeling that the house is bigger, right? Um, so these are ways where we can save money but get a more impressive home. That's what I do. Absolutely. I really like the way you're bringing it all um, across like that because, um, you know, as a, as a buyer or as, um, as an investor, not a lot of people know all these uh, tricks of the trade um, that can be used to enhance the look and feel um, of the property. But you know what, Steve, your family has been involved in new home builds. Um, you know, you're, like you say, your dad is a legend in, in, in this uh, sector. So you might have, um, you know, the gift of the gab and you might just know what to say and how to say it in order to put the sale um, across. How can people actually warm up 
uh, to to a um, you know a new home salesperson or oh, you specifically um, considering um, you, you know we might just think you just want to put a sale across. So I've been through it. I've uh, I've been in your seat, uh, exactly where you are right now, and you're doing your research and you're finding out what is going to be best for you. I've gone through that whole thing. Um, even before I started in this industry, I already had my head in that. Um, obviously, being you know tailored as a young kid to get into property investing and, and purchasing property as young as possible in my life, um, I've, I've always been looking for the best solution for myself. Uh, and I've recently done it as well. So I've just uh, commenced constructing my first home uh, here in Diggers Rest as well. Uh, it's an investment property. Of course, it's with Simmons Homes. And I went through that whole journey. So I know what it is to go to the gallery and be kind of nervous about what colors am I going to choose or what floor plan do I choose and, and all that. Now, I've been lucky enough to become an expert in these years that I've been with Simmons. Um, so, so for me, it's, it's now quite, a, quite an easy decision to make. But still, there's always talking to friends and family and, and just figuring out what is best. Um, so I, I've been through the stresses. I've been through all, the, all those nerves and such. Actually, just as we've gone on site, I've seen one of the colors that I chose. And I'm like, oh, God, is that the right decision? It's fine. It's all good. Um, so that's, that's where I can also provide that extra uh, experience and, and advice from the experience that I've received. Absolutely. Now, obviously, you've got skin in the game, which makes it a whole lot different than somebody who's just trying to uh, peddle, you know, something uh, for, for a commission. So that makes you a whole lot different than um, all the other speakers out there. Now, Stephen, obviously, somebody's watching this and is now really intrigued about, um, you know, your expertise, your knowledge, and also your um, experience in this whole uh, new home build What's the best way that people can get a hold of you and what uh, display center are you located at? Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity to plug. Um, so if you're watching this video, it's either on your website, Live Long Digital, or on my Facebook page, uh, which is New Homes with Stephen Gotchman. Just put that into the search bar into Facebook, hit send message, uh, and you'll reach me straight away. I'm very quick for, with replying as well. Obviously, being at this age, I've got the phone in my hand all, all day. <laughs> um, alternatively, you can contact me on my mobile number. Uh, really easy one to remember, 40 um, Or come into the display. You know, I love to meet my, my clients face-to-face -face and just meeting everyone and, and seeing how we can really uh, get you on the right track and really get the ball rolling and, and make the most use of your time and money. So we'll provide a, we're a one-stop shop. Uh, we do a, a real like whole circle solution. So uh, of course we've got the house and land advice. So obviously, okay. so obviously as you've noticed, um, you know, with you know, our chat with Stephen here, buying or building a new home is a major investment, and it's um, you know sensible to actually spend as much time as you can choosing the one that actually meets your needs. Um, you know, as your potentially. Uh, your, as a potential investment or if your family is growing or if you're looking to downsize and people like Stephen are always there to help you, um, you know, walk you through their display homes and actually give you expert advice that you never find from Auntie Sally at a barbecue. Now, Stephen, if somebody actually has uh, been moved to, um, you know, come through to you and is maybe contemplating or umming and ahhing about their next um, you know, investment property or their new build or their first home buyer and they're really nervous about a lot of things. What's normally your go-to advice uh, when it comes to, um, you know, uh, taking the plunge? So take the appropriate steps, guys, right? Um, I usually explain to my clients and, and to everyone that, that walks through the display that the new home building process is, is kind of like an upside down triangle. So just imagine that. In the top section here, we've got the dollars. Do that first, right? Even if you've just started saving and you've only got $500 in saving, it doesn't hurt to speak to a finance broker, financial planner, or what have you, because they'll get you on track. It'll be a, a streamlined process to making your dreams come true. So first step, get the finance sorted. Second step, let's discover the floor plan and the house that's gonna suit your lifestyle and your budget. And then we can figure out which land size, orientation, and location is going to suit all of that. Ultimately, you live in a house, in an area. You don't live in an area, in a house, right? Um, and then we'll look at options and, and how to 
get get the ball rolling for you. So do that. First step finance, second step house, third step land, and then move in. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen, for your expertise on the show. And I bet if you're watching this show right now, buying a home is one of those emotional decisions you just want to have somebody who actually knows what they're doing. And that's the reason why you need to reach out to Stephen. Uh, we'll be putting all his details at the bottom there. If ever you're in Digger's Rest, visit him at the Siemens um, Display Center there so you can actually get expert advice on how to actually build your future home. Now, Stephen, thank you so much for your time, my man. Thank you, Prosper. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon.